In this video, we will take a look at the file extension Gibbs Cam assigns to your post-processed output, the G-code file generated from your toolpath when you run your post-processor. This is the file that will be loaded into and run on your machine. Now, Gibbs Cam uses a default file extension of .ncf. If we go to our posting page and select the box to open our output file dialog here, we'll see that the default is .ncf. And many controls will accept this extension. However, there are quite a few controls that require a specific file extension for the G-code files. Now, if you have one of these machines that requires a file extension other than .ncf, you probably are already aware that you can go to the File menu, come down to Preferences, and in your Preferences dialog, go to your Import Export page, and in the Post field, enter whatever output extension you need. So if we type in TXT, for example, and close this out, go back to our posting page, we'll see that now our file extension is .txt, and if we save this, it would be a .txt file type. All right, but what about a shop that has a variety of machines of different makes? For instance, if you were working in a shop that had a bridge port that required a .nc extension and maybe you had an old Cincinnati that needed a .tap extension, maybe a newer Akuma that's looking for a .min extension, uh, and a Mazak that needed a .eia extension. We don't want to have to change our preferences every time we post a part, and of course we don't have to. If I go back to my file menu, back to preferences, and we're still going to be on our import export page. In my post field here, if I just list out the extensions that I need access to, uh, so we said NC for bridge ports, and I put a comma and a space, then I can enter another one. TAP, comma, space, that's our Cincinnati, MIN for our Akuma, and EIA for our Mazak. So if I close this now and go back to my post page and open up my output file dialog, I'll see that it's defaulting to the .nc extension. But if I click here, I get a drop down with all the file types that I listed in the post field in my preferences. So since we're posting out for a Mesa troll, I'll select a .eia extension and save. And now we're set up for the file name with a .eia extension when I post it out. Uh, and the Mazak will be happy with that file. So if you need to choose between different file extensions for your posted code, setting it up is that quick and simple. Uh, and as always, if you have any questions or would like more information on setting up a file extension drop-down list for your posted output, Please contact your local reseller. They will be more than happy to help you.